Welcome to our fourth episode of Strength and Conditioning Exercises specific for cross-country skiing. Today our focus is arms. Jane's going to stand in a split stance. She's holding onto a band and she's working on the basic row exercise. She's pulling the band towards her lower chest, squeezing her shoulder blades back, looking straight ahead. Jane's switched on her core so she's got a nice stable trunk. She's trying to keep her neck nicely relaxed as she squeezes those shoulder blades back towards each other. She's trying to work the middle and lower trapezius muscles, the back of the shoulder and the triceps. Jane's using the inner tube of a bike tyre. You can use something similar or you can use some therabands if you have them. Just enough to provide some resistance to get your muscles to have a good workout repeating this action. Progressing on from our basic row, Jane's now going to demonstrate a double pole exercise. So she's now standing on a more even stance, switching on her core and becoming a little bit more dynamic with this exercise. She's going to do the row exercise with a little bit more movement. She's adding a little bit more lower body momentum in, just like when you're out there on your skis. Still concentrating on squeezing the shoulder blades back together, keeping her head up, looking straight ahead, keeping the core muscles switched on. You can see Jane's squeezing her shoulder blades back together, trying to use the muscles around the shoulder blades. The next version of our arm workout today, we're going to look at some classic polling arms. Jane's going to adopt the split stance again, switch on a core, and start with the arm work one at a time. She's alternating from side to side. She's looking up, like she's looking down the track. Working on keeping her neck as relaxed as possible and using the muscles around her shoulders. 